coming to an end, but that doesn't mean that it's too late to plan a quick getaway. And when you make those travel plans, there's one guy who knows all about turning that coach experience into a first class experience. Galen David is joining us this morning, and he is also known as the steward guy. The Sky Steward. Sky Steward. Yes. Okay. Yes. So tell us what we have here today. What are you talking to us about today? Well, we've got a few things in the duty free cart that I wanted to share with you to really just make your trip better. And uh, the first thing I want to pull out is we've got this toiletry bag, and it's a Vimica bag. Uh, the great thing about this bag is that if you unzip it, you know how you get lotion all caked in the bottom of your bag? Yes, Do you hate it that? just happened to me this past weekend. Lotion everywhere. Well, this liner unsnaps, and then you just pull it out like this, and you can clean it. And you can also get new ones to put in there, so it keeps that set. So yeah, that's, that's a great idea. So that's less stress during mm -hmm. the summer. And then even though it's hot on the airplane, on the ground, once you reach cruising altitude, it gets cold. Yes, I'm always freezing on planes. Well, you know, they charge for blankets now. Yes, yes. I was on JetBlue this weekend, and they were, and I didn't know. And they were, I asked, can I please have a blanket? And they were like, it's like $7. Right. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. And they're even talking, uh, charging you to talk to the flight attendant almost. On, are yeah. they going to do that on screen? No, I, I don't I, think I don't, they're doing yeah. that yet. I hope not. Well, this is great. This was designed by a flight attendant, and it's actually a kit that has the pillow, uh, eye shades, and the blanket inside, and it comes in all different patterns, and then you just pack that and bring it along, and you don't have to worry. So that's a great thing as yeah, well. Yeah, and that's something that we should all just do anyway now because they are charging now. And then that's so disappointing. And I had no idea, so I sat there freezing the entire three hours from New York. Yeah. I mean, so. well, I, I say that when in today's world of travel that you really have to take control of the experience. So another thing I wanted to talk about are some apps for your phone. Mm -hmm. And if you have a phone, a smartphone, there are two apps that I would suggest. First of all, get your airline's app. If you're, whatever airline you're flying, get their app. If there's a delay, you can find out when the next available flight is. Mm -hmm. And there's another one from American Express called eSky Guide. And it's great because you can check. If they say the flight's going to cancel, you can be ahead of the game and find out when the next flight is on any airline. Line, and that's put out by American mm -hmm. Express. And while we're talking about iPhones, I wanted to show you something really cool. Have you ever noticed on the airplane when people are watching movies, they're propping up their phone uh, on a styrofoam cup or something like that to yeah. watch the movie? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a great way to do it. This is called iDocs. And all you do is you snap in your iPhone and, and you it becomes not only a stand to watch your movie on, but then you can also use it as your alarm clock stand. Yeah. While you're away. That's you know, awesome. Away. I've never seen that. Yeah, so it's great. And another thing I'd remind everybody about is when you're using this much power, make sure that you have an adapter. And I would go to SeatGuru.com and make sure that your airline offers power ports and what type of power ports that you can use. I've heard about that, Seat Guru. Now, if you go there, too, don't they recommend the? you can type in the type of plane that you're going to be traveling on, and they'll tell you the best seat in that plane? It's fantastic. They show you uh, what seats are, are going to be uh, near the lavatory mm -hmm. so that you know not to sit there. And they color code them, like green seats are the best seats. Uh, red seats are the worst seats. So it's a great uh, website to check but out. But let me ask you about that, Galen, because there are times where I have actually recently, the past two or three times that I've traveled, I've gone in and on the website, booked online, and ch picked my seat. And then I, when I got there that day and checked in, I ended up not with that seat. I ended up with like the worst seat in the plane, like the very last row, middle seat. Why does that happen, and how can you ensure that you get the seat you want? It happens every once in a while, especially when there's a change of equipment. And when they do, like, it could be the same plane, but a shorter version of it. And when they, when they change that equipment at the last minute, they have to reshuffle the seats. Okay. And that's usually the main reason why that happens. Okay. So it's hit or miss. Mm. It's, it's hit or miss. I know. It, it can definitely make you, make you crazy. Yes. 
It can be frustrating, but with all of these little gadgets, you can make it feel a little less stressful. Well, I have one other that I wanted to show you. Real quick. Uh, people get the blood clots when they're on the long flights. Yes. And there's a product that you can use, and this was from another flight attendant that actually at 23 years old got a blood clot in her really? leg. Yes. And she designed this. It actually turns the toxins into oxygen. Wow. Uh, so it's and it's. So you put this in your drink you or something? You put this in your water. Okay. Yeah. Well, lots so. of great tips. We appreciate it. And you can find more tips, I'm sure, on your website. So if you would like to get more information and travel tips, you can go to theskysteward.com. So visit this website.